I'm Detective Chief Superintendent Eamon Corrigan, leading the investigation into the attempted murder of Detective Chief Inspector John Caldwell. It is now two weeks to the day since this horrific attack took place in front of terrified children and adults at a sports centre in Oma's Killyclaugher Road. DCI Caldwell remains in a critical but stable condition in hospital after he was shot up to 10 times by two gunmen as he packed up after coaching a youth football team. We are working tirelessly to bring those responsible to justice. Today I'm in a position to say that I believe a second Ford Fiesta vehicle was used in the attempt at murder of DCI Caldwell. It is also a blue Ford Fiesta of a similar model. The second car had the registration number RLZ9805 and was bought in the Glengormley area of Belfast towards the end of January. I believe this car travelled to Belfast around this time. It was then driven from Belfast at approximately 1pm on Wednesday the 22nd of February, the day of the attack on John, and travelled along the M1 in the direction of Coal Island and Oma. It was found burnt out in the Ardbo Industrial Estate the following day, Thursday the 23rd of February. I would like to know where it was stored and its movements during this period of time. Today I am also releasing new CCTV footage of the first blue Ford Fiesta as it travels into Coal Island at around 10pm on the night of the 21st. It had the registration number MGZ6242 but was travelling on false plates. The false plates were FRZ8414 and this was prior to the attack. Previous CCTV footage issued shows this blue Ford Fiesta leaving the sports complex and turning left onto Killyclaugher Road immediately after the shooting. We then know it travelled past Glendale service station to the Rocopla Road where it was abandoned and set on fire. We have established that this first blue Ford Fiesta was purchased in Ballyclare on Wednesday the 8th of February and was observed travelling towards Belfast on the M2 motorway that night. It was also noted leaving Belfast at around 9.30pm on Tuesday the 21st of February, again the night before the attack on John. It travelled along the M1 motorway into Coal Island at around 10pm. My appeal today is for anyone who knows where either of these two cars were kept prior to the shooting or has knowledge of their movements on the day of the shooting to come forward. We need this information. I am also appealing for anyone who observed anything suspicious in the Rocopla Road area of Oma on the night of the shooting and in Ardbo the following night, Thursday the 23rd of February. Did you see anyone or any vehicles in these areas? Did you observe any vehicles driving away at speed? We really need you to come forward with this information to help the investigation and bring those responsible for this attack on John to justice. I'm going to hand over now to Mick Duffy, Crime Stoppers Director of Operations, who will provide an update on the reward being offered for information leading to the arrest and conviction of the people involved in attempting to murder John. Good morning. Firstly, I, on behalf of everybody at Crime Stoppers, wish to express our great sadness and shock at this awful attack on DCI Caldwell, and our thoughts are with him and his family at this time. I'm the Director of Operations at the independent charity Crime Stoppers, and like John, I'm also the father of a young family and a kids' football coach. So this despicable attack really resonates with me, as I'm sure it does with many others here in Northern Ireland and beyond. I want to start by explaining what our charity is, what we do to keep people safe, and then announce a significant increase to the reward we're offering. Firstly, and importantly, I want people to know that we are not the police. We obviously work closely with them, and we pass on a significant amount of anonymous information from the public every day. 
but I want to assure you we are totally independent from them. The police know that we cannot pass on personal information about those who contact us because we simply do not have that ourselves. This means that when somebody contacts the charity, there are no courts, no police, no witness statements and no comeback. Tell us what you know and then you're done. I now want to turn to our reward. We know the original £20,000 for information leading to John's attackers has encouraged people to come forward. And this is positive and we are told it's making a difference. Like everyone across Northern Ireland and beyond, we want those responsible for the shooting to be brought to justice. Today, with this, I want to announce, sorry, today, I want to announce that with, through the generosity of anonymous donors in Northern Ireland, we are now increasing our reward for information leading to the arrest and conviction up to a total of £150,000. This is one of the highest rewards the charity has ever offered and this money is available to you if it leads to the conviction of the shooting. If you have information but prefer not to speak to the police, contact us by visiting our website, search online at Crime Stoppers UK or by calling our 24-7 contact centre on the free phone number 0800 treble 5 treble 1. You can only claim the reward if you come to Crime Stoppers. Like our phone and online reporting service, our rewards process is also anonymous. You just need to ask for a reward code. If you know who was involved and have information, come to us and keep safe. Thank you for your time today.